we're going to get started and jump into this next movie. Quasi, made by the Broken Lizard guys of Club Dread. Why didn't I say Super Troopers first? Fuck you. But reminds me, Super Troopers, Beer Fest. But yes, this is another installment from those folk, directed by Kevin Heffernan, aka Farva. But I haven't looked into too much as far as reviews and what people thought of it. I don't know if it's going to be another Beer Fest or Super Troopers, but I, I feel like there could be some laughs along the way, right? But I think it'll be a laugh anyway. I am hoping his voice and his face doesn't become like just a thing they lean too much on like Little Nicky did. I like Little Nicky, but let's be real. <laughs> France. Oh, God. But let's be real. That movie, as much as I liked it, did lean on that like face and voice too much. A lot of his, a lot of his movies. God damn it. Objects. <laughs> Poor cat, dude. But a lot, a lot of Adam Sandler's movies, they rely on these like two-dimensional gags. And I hope his character isn't that. I have been watching the shit out of Tacoma MD. I think I'm one season behind on it, but it's 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 all right. It's pretty good. The set design looks pretty solid, though. Constantly having his face like that and having to walk like that, I bet got so annoying to him. Like I bet there were just times in the day where he's like, "All right, I need like ten minutes to just do one." Like you know what I mean? Walking like that looks so fucking uncomfortable, and like this. Like I couldn't do that for too long without just needing to like. Hey, poisson? No. Poisson? No. Come on, poisson? No. Poisson? No. <laughs> That's pretty solid. Eat shit, oh my god. Good morning, officer. Poisson? Repent for your sins. Yeah, he's from, he's from Tacoma FD. Hey, Pascal. He's funny as shit. Him too. Yeah, but him, I don't know his real name. Um, just Anything he's in, he's always pretty funny. He gets me so mad sometimes. Don't get worked up. Fucker's gonna start with me on a on a fucking Monday of all days. <laughs> on a Monday of all days. This is Michelle, your new guinea pig. You're gonna be torturing him for the next couple weeks. I would do that if it paid well. I, it's just one of those things where you show up and they do all the work. Hey, we're fire ants in that guy's dick hole. All right, Michelle, you ready to get tortured? Ouch, dude. <laughs> like you'd have to like have it propped open to get him to even get in there oh jeez you got a visual though didn't you yeah you sure did i had to have it so so do you straps too tight no go as tight as you need you got a real can-do attitude i like that michelle i have a feeling he's just gonna get more and more like mangled up but still have a positive attitude don't you mind uh the one in the red that hair and the this <laughs> that whole Hairstyle fucks. Alliance between France and India. Over his face. Damn you, Satan! God damn it! That is him, right? Steve Lemmy. Steve Lemmy. Whatever his name is. My jester in oil. Okay, so it's just like a small little thing. He reminds me of the character he played in a uh, beer fest, where he's like that guy who's like. I miss you. He had to like the dildo on. You know what I'm talking about. Come on, you know what I'm talking about. I met her on the set of Friday Night Lights. She's nice. You get this impression that she's too cool for you, and that's not coming from her. That's just because she is. But she's very nice. My new ornament wishes to discuss the affairs of France. <laughs> yes. Oh. How adorable. Money. <laughs> Adorable. Slam and Salmon. That's another movie they made. Surprisingly good. Yeah, like his voice and the whole thing. It's, it's not too much. Like, I've already kind of forgotten about it. You know what I mean? Like, he's not doing much with his voice. And that's, that's I mean that in a good way. Shut up! All of you! All right. You want oysters? I'll give you oysters. <gasps> My queen. <laughs> <laughs> I got your oysters right here. Begging your pardon, my queen, but that torturer is in no way my superior. The way he speaks to you tells me otherwise. <laughs> Do you? Don't look at okay. Don't look, it's hard. She's really hot. Oh my god. <laughs> She's really hot. Mm. Oh my. The smell is exceptionally rancid down here. Torturer, stand. <laughs> Perhaps you'd 
have more success if you adjusted the flywheel, say... Ooh! Then you'd have the benefits of both horizontal tension and vertical tension. She knows her stuff. Ooh, la la. That was crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like how he's just... <laughs> he's just there drinking like buddies after work. He's being tortured and shit. Plenty of royals have kinky fetishes. Remember that king that used to have sex with chickens? Chicken Alec King? Yeah! That would make him the chicken. Cut, cut, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, I got you good, you fuckers. That's what that made me think of. Right. And on the night of her coronation, I'm going to make dirty love to the queen in the rack. Foreshadowing. Like, that's 100% going to happen. 1,000% going to happen. Please, I insist. Dude, don't act like this is such a big thing. Take it <laughs> on me. All right, if I take this thing, will you stop bugging me? You got it. And he's going to win. Hope you have a winner. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. Without further ado. <laughs> yeah, right. That's me! That's me! <laughs> You're a woman! <laughs> okay, so he'll win by, oh, by default. Goodness. She's just... My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Cross is the winner. We got a winner here. We got a winner. Called it. I mean, it's it was obvious though. A woman and a hunchback. <laughs> What's next? A Saxon? <laughs> Those Saxons are trash, and we all know it. I don't care if I get canceled for saying it. I don't care what Saxons do behind closed doors, but they need to just stick to their own. You should take the ticket. You bought it. No, no, it's cool. I mean, I gave it to you, so technically it's mine, but whatever. No, no. He's being such a petty little bitch about it. That is how that works. You give someone the ticket, it's it's theirs. So I was misinformed. He also plays two now characters. you say who's there, fire? I have to participate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, I really don't get it. God tar him. No, no. <laughs> I feel like that's not what? that funny. No, no. Ooh, I have. Oh, well, yeah. Sire, are you aware that he is the one who invented your most successful torture device? You mean my mother-in-law? <laughs> <laughs> this would have been around the time period that that joke was invented. Please, call me Gee. Okay. Thank you, Guy. How dare you call the King of France by his name? Guards, what? off with his head! You told him to do that! I, I almost took a drink. If I would have had liquid in my mouth, I probably would have like... <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but my mouth just made like a... type of noise, just on its own. So if you heard that... I'm not sorry, actually. It's hilarious. The human body, it makes noises. You could like it. Get out! Should I pound his hump? Or I tell him there, there may be goblins in there. I don't know what's going on. They're just drawing. Bestiality. You oh can draw whatever god. you but want. Stop it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is that mud? It's not mud. It's not mud. Ew. Just draw whatever you want. Do I make myself clear, hunchback? <laughs> he thinks we're best friends. We're not best friends. Yeah, that's what I said. They're I have best many friends. best friends. No, he doesn't. That's so. There's Jerome from Champagne. Made oh, up. Wow. I... He also trades silks. He's been to the Orient. <laughs> He's also not real. All right. I think that's probably pretty hot. Yeah, that looks pretty good to me. I think you'd stop now. You and your main mother plucker over here. What? <laughs> I want to say that he's the funniest character so far. <laughs> Queen Catherine. Your holiness. Ooh, hachi machi. <laughs> How long have you two been married? Hachi <laughs> machi. Totally a time appropriate uh, saying. I believe that's, this is the time period where that was invented. Dad, open the that door. hair fucks, dude. God, do not. Open when it, my hair gets white, I want it to look like that. I know I said the other person's hairstyle fucks, and it kind of does, but... 
without like the the hat and you can just see the hair and it's full poofiness it looks like an avalanche of hair the pope's gonna crank the rack if it doesn't hurt, then you gotta zhuzh it up a little bit. You know, I'll play it up. Okay? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Why do I feel like his arms are gonna get torn off? You mind if I give it a crank? It would be an honor, Your Grace. Look at me, I'm a torturer. <laughs> Some clamped in here. Ooh, looks like this. Ah! Not yet, not yet. The other way. You know that feeling when your father's on his deathbed and you're about to be crowned king? No, I don't, sir. <laughs> like, is it like it's a universal thing? Hunchback, I want you to assassinate the king. The king asked first, so... Of course, there'd be no movie, so... Fool me, hunchman, and hear me well. Disobey me, and God will send you directly to hunchback hell alongside that elfish best friend of yours. Duchamp? No, we're just hut mates. He needed a place to live closer to town. I was short on rent. I don't give a resounding fuck about your housing arrangements. <laughs> I feel like I'd rather just kill the Pope. A, I was, you know, you're there already. Two, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like you'd be able to just get away with it if you did kill the Pope. Because the king asked you to. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Top shot. But let's keep that between ourselves. Yes, of course, of course. Of course we will. <laughs> yes. Now all the guys who fuck sheep. <laughs> It's like not even a big deal. And that was gonna be one of those things where like he sings by himself, like outing himself, and then everyone stops singing and they kick his ass or something, but it's just now the pig fuckers, like, does it matter? And after you carry out that task, he's going to kill you. Oh fuck. Okay, he didn't tell me that part. Well, <laughs> that's bad news. Oh, it's the hunchback. Ah. Let's bring up the paper lottery winner. Indeed, indeed, bring up the lottery they winner. They both think he's gonna do their thing. Back from this. Oh. Oh, There's no coming back from this. Now. Yeah, those torches are fake as hell, dude. My role in today's events? Oh yeah, you were on stage, weren't you? Yeah, yeah. I subdued Quasi. Mm, I remember him stabbing himself. No, I subdued him. <laughs> he just can't catch a break, I guess. But he is kind of a piece of garbage, so... Well, he's not really a piece of garbage, I guess, but... Ha ha, he's gonna walk in and it's gonna look gross, watch. Ready? Ready? Okay, never mind. You know, just when this movie zigs, you think it's gonna zig, it zags. Ooh. Hey, you throw that bottle. Oh, hey! Hey, you kids, get out of here! <laughs> Stupid kids just throw bottles, of course. <laughs> little sons of bitches. No, no, no. It was all bullshit. It was a ruse. You told me it was a shellad. It was a shellad. Hey, all right. Good night to you, too, you asshole. <laughs> God. Did you discover that your hump is filled with gold bullion? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Heffernan's the best, dude. What's your name, Lorelai? Oh, that is a lovely dress you're wearing. So sheer. What a funny thing to run into you out here picking elderberries in such a gossamer gown. The fuck, the crunching and shit, dude. <laughs> you and I are cousins. No. Cousins? Impossible. Which means they can be king and queen together, probably, right? Um, my mouth is... Um, like this? Yeah. Um, yeah. What an awkward kissing mm -hmm. scene. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, your heart is so hard. Ah, and there, there we go. It seems to be getting hard. Oh. It has been foretold. 
What the fuck is happening, dude? Garlic? I... Mmm. It'll be great. It'll be some brie. I was sure he was gonna get all fucked up. Like, by this... By this stage of the movie, he was just gonna be, like, obliterated. I told you! He's not my friend! I hate that twisted, creepy virgin! He's not a virgin anymore! Who said that? Show yourself! <laughs> not a virgin anymore! Yeah, yeah, I agree with what he said, her. Michelle! Quasi, how'd you see me? What are you talking about? I can see your head sticking out of the bush. You should try hiding. I am hiding. I'm behind a bush. This is like the tallest bush in the forest. Yeah, okay, come on. We gotta go. Wait. Catherine. I saw your friend's head above the brush. I don't think it was me. <laughs> mm. Oh my, you are particularly ripe today. It's been a busy day. Ew. Gross, dude. About Barcelona. Barcelona. Perhaps Barcelona is in our future. You mean Barcelona? Barcelona. Barcelona? Barcelona. Because he is your best friend. Fuck him. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I misread his character so much, so hard. Like I, I didn't know. Like I thought he was just gonna be tortured and like a throwaway joke. Like they were gonna rip his arms off and shit, even though they said he'd be fine. I promise we will be best friends. As do I. Not be Fs, but be Fs forever. Fs. Please give me a proper thorough burial. I don't want the animals eating me for dinner. That would be ironic. <laughs> you just killed my man. Oh, shit. God, shoot his man. <laughs> he, knew that, he knew that was coming. You. You're great. <laughs> Told you, the BFS. And now he's gonna stab him and oh. best friends forever. We all saw that he was asking for it, right? I mean... Yeah! <laughs> oh. You're the prick. You were a prick when we dated and you're still a prick now. Oh. Why did my mouth make that noise, dude? God damn it. Ew. Clean. Ew. Oh. oh, I hate that shit, dude. <laughs> Quasi, I think we need a bigger hole. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> that made me cough. Okay, so the movie was about what I expected. I didn't come in with, like, hella high expectations, but I didn't think it was gonna be, like, just absolute dog shit, because, like, I wouldn't have spent, I wouldn't have bothered with it. So just because I didn't think it was terrible, doesn't mean it's going to get a high ranking in the Broken Lizard list. So it goes like this. Beer Fest, Super Troopers, Slam and Salmon, Club Dread, and then this movie. Well, I don't know. For, for least favorite of those, this ties with Super Troopers 2. Because I haven't seen Super Troopers 2 recently enough to really remember it. Or I might actually just put it last. Let's just do it that way. Because there, But there was a lot of laughs. It's just if you're going to rank them, it just isn't as good as any of them. But laughs, laugh, there were definitely laughs to be had. It looked like I had fun filming it. It's it about hit the mark that I thought it was going to. I, I didn't I didn't think I'd like it more than Beer Fest, Super Troopers, or Slam and Salmon versus Club Dread or Super Troopers Two. It was anybody like I wasn't sure. I guess that's all there is to say about that. We don't need to go too. This wasn't really a thinker, you know. So I thank you for stopping by and watching. I would like to see the full length reaction to this. Hop on down over to my. Uh, also link in the description all full length reactions 100% free all you got to do is just show up and click the button that says play you've, you've clicked on a button that that's, and played it so you know how to do that uh yeah that's it for now and thank you for watching i'll catch you on the next one